Brian Mudd Show is on News Radio 610 WIOD. 18% of people carrying consumer debt into uh, the pandemic have hurt their credit scores, approximately 3% with those only secure debt. Here to talk a little bit about something you should be aware of, Lee Kendrick, debt and credit expert with uh, credituturn.com. That's credituturn.com. And Lee, so this is an interesting story here. Uh, it looks like maybe some of the uh, credit agencies or, or some folks who issue credit are, are taking a look at who your friends are on, online. Um, yes, credit agencies, they're actually a lot of people only know about the big three, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, and uh, they're actually uh, over 40 sub-agencies that aggregate all kinds of data. It could be your casino gaming history, your retail shopping history, and now they're also looking at your social media presence and also your contacts and where you travel, where you go to. So are you going to check cashing places? Are you going to pawn shops? Are you uh, walking into the Bentley or Ferrari dealership? And uh, that can factor into whether or not you're approved for purchases or what type of terms you get. And it's even more predominant overseas in developing countries that don't have a traditional credit reporting system. So in order for people to get started out, they want to know who your circle of influence is. So, Lee, this would apply most to those that don't have established credit histories. It, it could be, but it could also be, let's say, that the underwriter is sitting on the fence about whether or not they're going to give you the approval or how much they're going to give you or what type of terms they're going to give you. Um, in the future, I'm not saying that it's factoring in really heavily right now, but we are seeing this. This has been an emerging thing over the last 18 to 24 months in China. And they're even in China, they're even um, notifying you if there is somebody close in proximity to you that's currently behind on debts. So there's so like social apps now. So just like the contact tracer that they're talking about yeah. for COVID-19, they're doing the same thing for debt. So we know in some instances there have been – uh, potential employees that have lost career opportunities because you've had employers that go check out their social media accounts and they see that they're there getting party partying and getting wasted and they like posting about that and uh, they're like, nah, maybe not that's not going to be the right fit for my organization. Are you saying the same kind of thing? It can and is happening uh, with with lenders. It's not so much as far as like what you post uh, and now, and I want to say that you know obviously there's a, a certain part of America now that feels that uh, maybe conservatives are penalized or maybe liberals are penalized, and and could it be that the underwriter that's looking at your uh, loan might say, nah, I really don't like this guy? Um, maybe I, I, you know that's probably just more of like a one-on-one -on -one thing. I don't think that that's a corporate philosophy, uh, but um, you know. Maybe you got to pay a little bit more attention to what you're posting, not just for employment, but for credit. And then uh, maybe you need to add the uh, millionaire owner of the company that you work for as one of your favorite five in your phone. There you go. Uh, very nice. The the thought of doing something strategic there. Uh, macaroni and cheese for breakfast. <laughs> sounds, sounds delicious. I'm right there with you, but uh, I might uh, die with you in a week also. <laughs> Ah, uh, the finer things. Uh, Lee Kendrick, appreciate it. Uh, the, his, the website is credituturn.com. That's credituturn.com.